Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, let's see the example based on multiplexer. Let's start the discussion. We are discussing here boolean function implementation using multiplexer. And your question is realize the logic function of truth table using multiplexer. So you have truth table given. First step is to obtain the SOP canonical form from truth table. So if you see here 0, 1 and 2. So we can represent y is equals to summation m. You have to focus on logic 1. So inside the bracket, we will write 1 and 2. Now, you have to obtain which marks we have to use. So the marks required here is 4 inputs are there. That's why 4 is to 1 marks is required. And select lines required are that is a b r variables s0 s1 are the select lines you have to use so we will draw marks having four inputs that is i0 i1 i2 and i3 this is the enable terminal you have to apply to logic one always this is logic one this is 4 is to 1 max. Output here is Y. Now connect the ones of column Y to logic 1 and remaining terms to logic 0. So we have I1 and I2 for logic 1 and I0 and I3 for logic 0 and what about select lines a and b are the select lines we have s0 and s1 and this is your output in this way you require two select lines and only one output and four inputs and whenever logic 1 is present inside the truth table, you have to connect all the main terms to logic 0 and remaining main terms you have to connect it to the logic. Now, if in the truth table, if 1 is present, that main terms you have to connect to logic 1 and remaining main terms you have to connect it to the logic 0. Always E bar equals to 1 because whenever enable terminal is 1 then only mux will operate otherwise it will not operate and we can also assume e as 1 because we are drawing this diagram means it is always in working conditions so this is all about the third numerical thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda